Hello and welcome to this YouTube channel. So this is an intro. My name is Vision Masango and I'm a qualified medical lab scientist. I qualified in 2018. So I've been practicing for around two years now. But there is a lot of unknowns when it comes to the profession. What do medical lab scientists do and where do they study? Like I have common question is like, do you study for that? And are you a scientist, a real scientist? What do you do? But with this platform, I'm mainly worried about the students who are doing the course right now. There's a lot of content that we find on YouTube that is mainly irrelevant because we watch these Indian videos to help us through our coursework. And they have irrelevant, unnecessary things that are not in our syllabus. So I want to cater for students who are doing such, who are having such problems that you don't know how to maneuver through an academic problem. And so you can... I want to make this platform as interactive as possible. If you have problems, we email the problem and we find solution around it. So as a medical scientist, I did clean path, clinical pathology, which is mainly microbiology, hematology, and clinical chemistry. I can help you when it comes to that. But there are other, other, other specialties I don't know. I don't have much knowledge. I will have to find out from my colleagues and we will help you answer such problems. That's one of the things that I want to focus on. I want to also focus on the prospective students, people who don't know how to get into the, into the system. How do you become, how do you get into the profession, the lab profession? Because it's a broad profession. We have medical scientists, we have technicians, we have phlebotomists, we have lab assistants. It's a huge profession, but it's hidden because people don't understand what happens to their blood after it's drawn. People think that the doctor gives a diagnosis. But behind every diagnosis, there is a scientist who's working tirelessly. 24-7, the labs are open and they are finding solutions. Imagine if a scientist makes a mistake, a patient dies. So we also care for the same patient. We also care for that patient. If a patient dies, that patient, it affects me as a scientist. What did I do wrong? Or why did I not give the diagnosis early enough? So we want to work with people to find out how do you get there? Because there are common problems. In South Africa, people, they do similar courses like the BSCs, like Bachelor in Sciences, like Medical Biosciences. Those things are not endorsed by the Health Profession Council of South Africa. So people will end up unemployed or they won't be able to be adopted into the medical lab fraternity. So how do we get there and what is the HPCSA? We want to help people get through such. So basically that's what this YouTube is about. And you can share the page and let people subscribe. And next week... We will release our first video of breaking down the profession, how the profession starts, what are technicians, what are scientists, and what are the different specialities and what do they do. Then when from there we then get into the more and the crux of the situation, the syllabus, what's happening and what are the pressing issues towards, because now it's mainly the online learning and online learning is tough. It's not easy. And we need to be able to be interactive. You can email and we will work through the problems together. We don't really have a system of how it's going to work. But if we start, we'll end there. Thank you guys for watching. And you can subscribe. I love you.